Chapter 1. The Dangerous Deed. A gun would be too violent. A noose would be too ancient. And a knife blade to the wrist would be too silent. So, the question became, how could a once glorious life be ended swiftly and precisely, with minimum mess yet maximum impact? Only a year ago, circumstances had been dramatically more hopeful. The entrepreneur had been widely celebrated as a titan of her industry, a leader of society and a philanthropist. She was in her late thirties, steering the technology company she founded in her dorm room in college to ever-increasing levels of marketplace dominance, while producing products that her customers revered. Yet now she was being blindsided, facing a mean-spirited and jealous fueled coup, that would significantly dilute her ownership stake in the business she'd invested most of her life building, forcing her to find a new job. The cruelty of this remarkable turn of events was proving to be unbearable for the entrepreneur. Beneath her regularly icy exterior beat a caring, compassionate and deeply loving heart. She felt life itself had betrayed her. And that she deserved so much better. She considered swallowing a gigantic bottle of sleeping pills. The dangerous deed would be cleaner this way. Just take them all and get the job done fast, she thought. I need to escape this pain. Then, she spotted something on the stylish oak dresser in her all-white bedroom, a ticket to a personal optimization conference that her mother had given her. The entrepreneur usually laughed at people who attended such events, calling them, broken-winged, and saying, they were seeking the answers of a pseudo-guru when everything they needed to live a prolific and successful life was already within them. Maybe it was time to rethink her opinion. She couldn't see many options. Either she'd go to the seminar, and experience some breakthrough that would save her life. Or she'd find her peace. Via a quick death.